everybody, Salty here. Um, no, actually, it's James N ninety five three two. But Salty is the engine of the hour, so that's who we're talking about today. Woohoo! Yeah. So I tried building. I tried building a Salty on my own. I tried like four attempts, and they all looked horrible, out of scale, because I tried to make the cab taller, and everything. Just, uh, I tried to make a more accurate salty, and it just didn't work. I do plan to eventually, but for now, I just went with the repaint. I'm like, okay, I have a talking, I have a normal salty. Let's go with that. See what we can do with that. You know, yeah. And so I did, and I'm actually very pleased to say, he turned out fantastic. I like this salty. So I took him, I painted him red, the same red I painted. Um, Murdoch and Arthur, the Cardinal Red, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what I painted him with. This happened a while ago. Um, yeah, I painted him in red, and then I did his yellow sides. The yellow. Oh my god, the yellow. The yellow took so long, you guys. I hate painting with yellow. Molly and Salty are what threw me off of yellow paint. Um, that and another thing I can't really show you yet. But. Yeah, so. After a few months of painting yellow, I'm not even joking, it's probably one month, but I'm saying it's a few months for emphasis of painting pure yellow on his sides and his back, I thought, okay, stripe time. And that's where it all went wrong. The stripes. Okay. These stripes, not a big deal. These side of the stripes were easy. Really easy to do. No big deal at all. Nothing, nothing horrible about these stripes. Even on the back here. The back was okay. The back the back is my issue with this time. The front? No, the front is easy to do. The front stripes. That's no big deal. Just follow it. That's what I did. And then but the back. The back I tell you. The back is awful. The back took me like five tries to do with the stripes right. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It was depressing. Yeah. So after I'd done that it was time to weather him, because I took this inspiration from the Unlucky Tug, but uh, I decided to weather Salty really heavily, because I think Salty would... A clean Salty is just ugly. So, I weathered him all over. Starting with black dry brushing, just trying to get him a little grimed up. Then I went with the brown wash, and oh, the brown wash. That was my favorite part. It brought out all these vent details... The little door, these back over here, the rails, the door here. Just everything. And then, because I was stupid, I forgot to do the handrails. So I went over that and <laughs> continued weathering. Um, eventually, I made like my own little red wash. And that's how I got this rust effect. Like on him, the dry brushed rust, dry brushed red all over his buffer beam. Just to show that he was sort of rusting and stuff. Is there a little silver on his buffer? Yeah, there's a little silver on his buffer. Yeah, salty. Woohoo! Weathering was really fun. Um, for salty, just get, I got to make him look super grimy and oily. And it would fit in perfectly, too. After I went about that, I realized, oh crap, I forgot to do the numbers and his name. So I did. I went along with a white marker, did D4, 2991, and then Salty. I I prefer putting, like, the 2991, just because if I need to use this as TV series Salty, it won't look weird. But if I want to use this as AU Salty, just the D4. Right. Um, yes, I did go back and fix Bear's D3. Yeah, D3. I have not fixed Boko or Daisy's D1 or D2 yet. Same. Anyway, uh, I painted his rods red because I like the I like the look with salty, with red rods. Yeah, if I get portier, portier, because that's English porter over here. He looks he works good with porter. Even if the fa his salty's face is three D repainted, by the way, <laughs> that's me. I did that. Mm -hmm. No need to clap. Um. He works with he works with Porter. Like it looks good. 
But my AU for Salty is different um, from the Brent, from the Brent, from the TV series version, of course. Because Salty here, I've decided, instead of working at Brendam Docks like he normally would, I moved him and Cranky to Tidmouth. Because that's, that's the big harbor of the island. That's Tidmouth Harbor. And I'm thinking, him and Porter do work together at Tidmouth. Um, Porter manages the station, and Salty manages the dockyard. Of course, these two find themselves interchangeable. Like, if one needs to go away for maintenance, the other just have to do both. You know? Yeah. So, that four, that allows Salty to arrive earlier, which means I can include him in more stories, and I like Salty. So, yeah. Salty and Porter work together. Well, Porter... After Rosie leaves. You might be questioning, Rosie leaves? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's good. You don't need to know. For a long time. At least not till June. So. <laughs> um, salty. Yeah, I wish there was more to say. But luckily for you, I see, Wait, no, I can't do that. Never mind, I'm sorry. I was going to say I could begin showing off Mavis, but, you know, that's not quite related enough. And Mavis has a little bit more to talk about, so I'm going to give her her own shit. Her own showcase. <laughs> Sorry. That was... I, I stumbled on English. So, yeah. That's salty. I hope you guys have enjoyed. You know, let's get the thumbnail right here. Mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm, thumbnail. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I suppose I'll see you guys in the next video. I know it's still a shorter one, but hopefully we can get some longer ones soon. Anyway, bye.